Hello everybody, I hope that you are very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be continuing straight off of yesterday's video going through the range that we are trading at the moment and whether a breakout to the upside or to the downside is most likely. Hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this one, it is going to be good and uh, yeah let's get into the video. I want to start off by showing you a clip from last night. Okay, so this is a three minute clip that I'm going to attach to the video now, uh, which is just going to be me talking through the price action of my trade last night. So I'll catch you in three minutes time after that's clips played. Hello everybody, hope that you're well and this is just a quick video to review the Bitcoin range that I gave you all this morning which was from the value area low slash daily obviously up to that weekly. That was the trading range that we had this morning. As you all know, I always put my money where my mouth is and I take those trades. So I want to review what we have here. Obviously, over on Bitcoin just was. Okay, I managed to get in my original short at actually 11,500 ish, being the top weekly level after the swing fire pattern of the highs. And I've already now come down and I hit my take profit one, which was the um, obviously the value area low of the overall range. Now I am currently monitoring this, okay, uh, debating whether to switch my short into a long position. I have not quite done that, just hit my take profit one. So let's load back over to the charts. Obviously this is what I was showing you all this morning with that value area. We have now come down and we've hit that once more. But first we obviously got rejected by our weekly. Okay, so let's go back over to the charts. Okay, so this is what we had today. Okay, we had the quick move up to the, you know, we had the quick move, the wick here to the upside. This was on the Fed and you know, the Fed talking about whatever they talk about. You know, I honestly trade only the charts. I do not care about the news. And this is why I was laughing today because the people that traded the news, the people that got caught offside by the gold, and okay, got, it was really funny. The, um, Dollar dropped, gold riz, gold riz, gold uh, went up, <laughs> gold went up, uh, Bitcoin went up, and uh, the dollar fell. And guess what? It happened all in about five, ten minutes, and it caught everybody offside that got excited and happy about that move up. Uh, managed to catch the swing fire of those highs. Obviously, this is the thing you have to have the plan set in the morning. Once you have the plan, you trade the plan and you make money. That's exactly what we've done here. We got the swing fire of the highs. Everybody getting excited trying to buy the news. Guess what? Wrecked as we come all the way back down. Have a guess where we came down to? Really simply back into the value area low. Okay, that was uh, about two hours ago now. We come back and we hit the value area low. That for me was a take profit on my short. Took 50% off. And uh, now, um, you know, I'm just monitoring the rest. As I as said, you know, I'm actually, at, you know, if I'm looking for a long here. Okay, so firstly, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a long. Uh, whereas I, I think many people are going to be really bearish at the moment, but um, for me, the way that I've traded this take profit one, and now I'm actually looking for a long position. Uh, so that's my plan, and uh, you know, just really always trading my plans. And um, must say, it's gone very well. Sorry, I was, I was, I was like lost there trying to find my high time frame level. <laughs> But yeah, that's what that's what you got. You call trading plan. As you can see, many people actually managed to clash that short with me today. But yeah, they all got a better entry than me. I was playing it safe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, now, yeah, looking for a long. That's the update. Cheers. <laughs> So that was obviously the clip from last night and what a trade it was. Obviously, we had the quick move to the upside and this is where having a plan, firstly identifying the range, then having a plan of how you're going to trade that range and it removes the emotion of getting, you know, literally caught up in the moment because for me, this was beautiful and really, really, really nice because of the fact that this rise was based off of news and that's always something that I love to counter. But you know, so many people got wrecked on this move and for me, Obviously, the competitive environment like we're in, that is joyful because we're taking money from the noob traders. Literally, anybody that was buying that rise based off of the dollar falling uh, during, the, obviously, the announcement. You saw the dollar fall, you saw gold rise, and you saw Bitcoin rise. And it was literally both of them, gold and Bitcoin, swing failure pattern, the highs. And gold just had a, had a, had a drop and then obviously recovered. Obviously, I'm referring to the DXY. Um and it was it was beautiful. Like if you're a technical trader, that's that's what trading's all about. It is what it's all about. The way that you make these quick profits, it's off of the emotions that flow through the market. And it's just amazing the way the technicals were respected there. So what you've done is you swing fell your pattern the high, you come down to the value area low. Obviously, we had the daily at eleven thousand and seventy. I wasn't hit, but we bounced obviously off of the value area low here. And what were the range we were looking at as we were making that video would have been uh, probably about this sort of time. I made that video probably about 10 a.m. yesterday. We then had the rotation to the high, rotation back down to the low, rotation back up to the high. Bam! 
Oh yeah, we got that perfect range going on right now. The weekly really clear resistance and the value area low really clear support. As you saw yesterday, I traded that short from the weekly. Well, the swing failure pattern of the weekly, I waited for the weekly to be lost, got into my short, traded it all the way down to 11,130, being my take profit one, took 50% off of that trade. And then this is where the magic happens. And I can safely say with 100%, I have my mojo back and it feels good. I am back on these charts. Uh, really, really good feeling. And that was because yesterday, I gave this setup to everybody in the group. I was going through the entry, the stop loss, and the take profit. You might think, dang, why are you being really secretive of only taking a print screen of this? And that's because this setup that I shared with everybody has three parts. There was this initial rise, and then there's two other parts which I do not want to share publicly in this video, simply because I feel that this plan is totally amazing and I... I to be honest, I don't want to share it with everybody else. So uh, it was obviously shared for the champions only. So there you go. But nevertheless, this was a long position taken after the initial bounce. So obviously we hit the value area low. We hit the value area low. We got the, them the move back up. And then we got a few hours of consolidation. I was going for a 2100 hours uh, rise. And this time together with the other plan that I have, and I'm really, really sorry that I can't go for it publicly here, but it would be a disservice to everybody if, uh, that's in the, in the mentorship. So um, I'll go over it probably in, in next week. But literally, uh, you've got to think like a market maker. you really got to think like the market maker of, was it more likely that we were going to take that low? And in my opinion, it was not the most likely, hence why I was giving the setup where I was looking for the entry here, stop loss here, and obviously the take profit one being this weekly, which we, uh, well, we, we missed it by about $20 on this first rise. I myself don't get greedy like that. So when I see it missed by $20, I'll take my take profit one. Obviously still looking for higher levels though, to be honest with you. Uh, but at the end of the day, we still do have this range. Okay, so personally, yeah, I would like to see higher levels now. I'm in a, I'm in a long position, but um, you know, if we do get this uh, rejection or we just start to, you know, change our market structure and start to head back down here well then obviously you know i'm gonna close my long and enter back into a short as it stands i'm in mean, long looking for higher prices and i just feel my connection is back with the market and it's been gone for it's got been gone for a few weeks to a month now and it's been been a sad for me obviously personally but also when i when i lose my connection with this market it also does make me feel sad and it feels really 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 good to be back um yeah it does feel good to be back um so yeah there you go this video was to show you, wow, how good is it when you have the plan? How good is it? Literally, who else was trading it like that yesterday? Who else was shorting up at that high? And who else was longing down at that low? You know, obviously, there are other people in the market that's doing it. It's not just me. It's not just my group. But what I'm saying is the plan was there. And then it's expecting the range. It's not expecting the breakout of the lows. And I really want to share the reasons why I was not expecting this to come down even further. Like, I really, honestly, I really want to share it with you because the plan is just like next level type of plan. It really is. Uh, but I am going to have to wait until it's played out a little bit more. Whether it plays out overall or not, I'll still share it with you. It's just, um, uh, yeah, I don't want to, yeah, I just don't want to put it publicly at the moment. But yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so there you go. I have went through the lows, the high of the range, how we are not trying to be the hero. We're not trying to be ahead of the market, but we're reacting to the market. And what I mean by that is, you know, we've not been waiting for shorts, but we've actually waited for the swing failure pattern. Not been waiting for longs, but have taken profits and then switched it into a long once there's been the initial sign of strength, okay? Um, just sensible trading. It really, really is. It's sensible and then really good trading. I mean, the uh, yeah, all I can say is, yeah, I, my mojo is back. I know, I'm, I'm feeling this market right now, but uh, yeah, there you go. That, that's what I want to go through. That's the initial range that we have here. Currently, I'm in the long position. Uh, hit my take profit one on the long, uh, but I would like to see a breakout. But uh, whether we then whether we do just rotate back down to the lows, personally, I always have two accounts. So I, um, if we get that rejection off of the weekly, then I probably will hold a position of my long still open while simultaneously sculpting a short position. That's a way I really like to trade, and it's really, really, really good tactic. Um, but yeah, there you go. That was the video of today that I wanted to go through. Do not think that I'm missing anything. Uh, I've covered the reasons why I took that short and why it was such a beautiful short at that. Other people you can see, you know, and what I'm saying, you know, they literally got better entries than me. But the reasoning for me was the swing failure. I was I was more cautious. Um, but yeah, we've gone through the reason why I took the short. The reason then, well, actually, I haven't really covered in this video so much the reason why I went into the long. But um, 
it's a very clever reason if i if i do say so myself it really was a clever reason uh <laughs> but yeah nevertheless we got that we went it back into the long position and we've had the rise back up to the, to the range high so really we got this really well defined range that's the weekly that's the val stands for value area low that is off the volume of the whole range and um yeah what we got going on here is we sort of fake out of the dxy yesterday okay that was on this move here Okay, obviously then that's come back down to the lows. You saw the you saw the fake out on gold, and that once again has recovered. You know, similar fashion to Bitcoin. Um, yeah, really, really technical trades. I'm just thinking to myself before I sign off: Is there anything else that I wanted to mention? Yes, there is. I want to say that I'm going to be doing the giveaway. Obviously, this giveaway was planned before my dad died, and then with him dying. I got took away from the charts and everything um but you know now i'm back i will resume that that live stream for the because a few people messaged me like well when you're doing the giveaway and i'll probably do that what with friday maybe this weekend maybe the start of i'm not 100 percent sure when i have the time for a public live stream but i will 100 percent do that giveaway and it will probably be maybe maybe the weekend or, or the start of next week 100 percent um so you got that giveaway to look forward to uh you got honestly like this plan is like next level thinking above the market it really really is and i promise you i will share this setup with you whether it wins or loses i honestly don't care uh at the moment it's sat in really nice profits but the reasonings behind this setup i am going to share with you publicly because it is just it's it's it's, oh, it's just really is so nice um I guess if you want early access to that setup, obviously that is with the entries, the stop losses, the targets, um, then obviously that's in the champions group. <clears throat> um, so if you want access to that, you can obviously join that. If not, then you can wait a week or week and week and a half and I'll share that with you all publicly. And um, yeah, I think that's it. It's It's nice to be back trading to be honest with you like really really is nice um i am very looking forward to, to really getting back into this it's fun so um yeah there's the update for you all hope that you've enjoyed this video and uh yeah i'll catch you in the live stream which i'll probably be doing in a few days time so uh stay tuned for that and uh yeah i'll be giving away some bitcoin so cheers everybody thank you have a brilliant day brilliant week ahead and uh enjoy trading this as much as i am again cheers <laughs>